What's going on guys? Wanted to take a quick look here at NVIDIA stock. Now you guys have probably heard about NVIDIA a lot. It's a big gaming company. They have uh, graphics cards, GPUs, semiconductors, a lot with AI, working with Tesla for their data centers. And the stock price has absolutely stored. We can see off two earnings ago, we had this huge gap. Now, what I'm seeing on the charts doesn't make me want to be a buyer up here, even $463. I'm seeing uh, continuing to put in slightly higher highs on price while the RSI continues to go to slightly lower highs. This is a bearish divergence. We also have this 200 moving average down here all the way back at or $395. Sorry about that. And we're sitting at 463 Price likes to tend to go back to this 200 moving average. On top of that, we see this big range here from uh, $320 up to $366. This is a gap. Historically, gaps like to close, get filled, meaning we should come back down and, and fill somewhere in here. It doesn't have to be all the way down, but maybe to at least $320. bucks. we will see what happens. Um, so with everything that I'm saying, I've also drawn this line from the day of the high up here. This, if you don't remember, the futures, so institutional buyers were buying this for 510 515 I think is the highest that I saw, uh, and immediately opened up and went down to 452 so there is some probably institutions trapped up here at higher levels, and this is the mark I made on that day that I think will trend down, will come down to at least this 200 moving averages, probably fill somewhere in this box. Now what else do I see? If you like formations, I see... A Adam and Eve. And Adam and Eve is when you got a whew, really pointy there. Why is that called Adam? What does that look like? Anatomy. And then an Eve. Whew. What does that look like? Anatomy. Okay, so this is a, bull a bearish formation as well. The measured move would be from this. Be something like this would be your neckline. And we go ahead and measure from the highest point. Drag that and put it if it breaks down below that neckline. And look where that price leads you. $405 right to this previous low, right to where the 200 moving average is trending. And then you have kind of a moment of truth. Because then what could this be it was as well? Look here. What do we have here? An Adam and Eve. It rolled over to the same level. An Adam and Eve measured target to the same level. But then what do you really see? An Eve. And Adam, where's the target? I cannot be a buyer in NVIDIA. I like NVIDIA. This is a NVIDIA graphics card in my computer. NVIDIA is doing a lot with semiconductors, doing a lot with Tesla and their data centers. Uh, as crypto comes back online, people use their GPUs to mine proof of work cryptocurrencies. And, they have, and they're doing a lot with AI and bringing in a lot of money. But we do notice that there is some FUD around some shell companies that maybe BlackRock is involved with artificially buying and, and stimulate the revenue that the company is having. We saw that a major insider yesterday dumped $50 million worth of shares and earned as a bonus instead of holding. Those are the people who know the most about the outlook for the project. And, and maybe you say, hey, the company is, is valued really high and he just wants to put $50 million in the bank. That's nice. But if you really thought you were going to explode and AI was going to be revolutionary and you have more earnings to come in the next three months and you can make another 25, 35, 50% on your money, that turns out 50 million into 60, 75, 85 million dollars. So nothing to golf at. But all everything I'm seeing from a technicals and those two fundamentals are showing confluence around a drop in the video, uh, target price of 405, and then really 200 moving average is 395. And then I like this gap to be filled between 320 to 366. If this happens, obviously it's going to drag down the, the greater indices in the market. And we'll have to keep an eye on that. But I cannot be a buyer in good conscience of NVIDIA for the various reasons I stated. If you like the technical analysis I'm giving you, check out my other content on both stocks and crypto technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and news. And stay tuned for daily updates right here at Learn Crypto.